at Bedford prior to getting here, the team had won one game. So it was really struggling. This is a community that, that, that was used to seeing nothing but wins, nine and one seasons, playoffs, and, and things of that nature. So coming in and taking over the program, I, I knew that we needed to add some new things, which was build some character in the kids and some things that were not traditional. So we brought some things that other NFL teams have done and, and things that, that are of a high quality. We have five NFL players that have played here. And what we wanted to do was bring something that most teams that don't have. So we, I started a program, which was I hired a character coach, which is a coach that works on character. So he's the coach of character development. And what he does is he works closely with the kids, interviews them in the summer, finds out their likes, their dislikes, and how things changed. And we follow them and we monitor them throughout the four years of high school, monitoring their grades, making sure they're academically eligible, not eligible for high school play, but eligible to go on to college. have athletes, like I always say, it's, sometimes it's not your, your coaches, it's your Johns and your Joes. And we have some good Johns and some Joes and some Dominiques. So, I mean, we have some guys that can come out here and they can play. The first year here, we won two games. Um, the second year, we won four. The third year, we won five. Fourth year, we won 10. So you see that the program is steadily moving in a positive direction. the ultimate goal is we have to get a degree. We have to be productive citizens outside because football is going to end. Although we don't think so, although we won't, don't want to, and most athletes will tell you they're never, it's never over, it does end. So those are some things that we've implemented here. Um, the kids all have tutoring and study tables after school. There is no come right in and, and go right to practice. So if you need to miss or, or be late, teacher will write you a pass. I can get you to class, I can get you, we can get you into a school, we can, we can help you move forward with a degree. We probably can't help you do too much without that. So what I want the kids to be able to do is to move forward from here and, and to be thinking on a higher level and to think on a higher level. If you get something that you know is on a higher level, you'll move yourself forward in that way. So those are some things that we've implemented. I, I believe that a smarter player is a better player. And so those are some things that we've implemented because the kids are now smarter in the classroom, they're smarter on the field. Uh, I just can't have guys that are smart when they're sitting down. I gotta have smart guys that are smart while they're standing up. The difference between the classroom and the football field is our test moves. As I say to the kids every day, the test that you take in high school, in, in class, it doesn't move. The test that I'm gonna show you on this chalkboard, I'm drawing these X's and O's up here, but guess what? When we take the test on Friday, the X's and O's are gonna move. That's the difference. So if you can beat a book that's laying down, not moving, there's no way that you, if, if, if you can do that, then you should be able to conquer this. And, and the same vice versa. If you, if you can take a test that moves around, how can you fail a test that's sitting there that doesn't move? So as I think the kids are developing and grasping the concept of what's, what I'm asking them to do, and they're able to perform it. And so, they're able to get what they want on the field. They're winning in the classroom, which they'll win on the field. They win on the classroom, they win in the field, they'll win in life. We want to be winners in life. Well, football is going to end, so that's our goal and objective here. That's when you're able to turn that corner and really do some things that people kind of thought a team that's in this position, hasn't won in this long, would be able to come back and, and, and turn around a program to this magnitude and now be one of the top programs here in the state. Thank you.